All right, all right, I get it. Uh, you guys didn't like it. I didn't like it either. It it looks stupid. So uh, just got this. Let's hope this looks a little better. Oh, there's two of them. Oh. Oh, pack of two. <laughs> I didn't read that. I thought it just came with one. So I'm trying to figure out like how I would install this thing and I'm kind of, I'm not liking this. I kind of didn't really look at this thing and pay attention to what it was in the store. Uh, I just saw that it was small and I bought it and I'm not really, I don't like it. Let's, let's not use it. I just went back to the store and bought this. Let's hope that this works. I'm tired of trying to, I'm tired, I'm tired of second guessing this whole thing. Now this is the original one that I wanted to install, but when I went to the store and looked at it, I didn't think that it would fit. I forgot to measure this thing before I left, but this thing should fit, right? Oh boy, that's... Is it gonna fit? Oh boy. Kind of barely fits, but I think I can make it work. So let's just, let's just use this one. Those other ones, I'll use it for something else. We are finally painting the Grave Ninja project. I already chose the colors of what we're doing with this. Obviously, we're going to be matching the actual Grave Digger monster truck. So, um, so I found this spring green color. It's not an exact match to the actual Grave Grave Digger, uh, but it's as close as I could find to uh, with this brand and this uh, two times paint primer. So it's as close as I could find, uh, color-wise, so it's going to have to work. Um, we're going to be painting this black and a couple of steering components black, just because with this, you're not going to see that much of this, of this piece right here, because most of it's going to be covered by the body. And I don't want to paint this entire thing green. I think that'd be a little too much. So this is going to be painted black, a couple steering components, and everything else is going to be painted green. Now. If we end up painting this, painting all this stuff, and it's not a perfect match, uh, we can always go over it with uh, some other spray paint and try to uh, more closely match it, but let's just see if this will work. I already bought two cases of this stuff.
So Go Power Sports sent us their 22 by 10 by 10 road tires. Now the reason I asked for these is because I do want to eventually do some type of top speed test with this project. Not sure when that's going to happen, but I do want to do something like that on the road just to see how fast it can go, what the acceleration is. So, and I wanted a set of road tires for that. Plus, I think these will look amazing on this project. Um, so we will have a set of on-road tires and a set of off-road tires for this for this project. Now, I did I did finish painting these the rims on those tires uh, green. I'm in the middle of painting these ones. Got one coat on this side. Haven't gotten the other side yet on all four tires. Now, links for these tires as well as all the other Go Power Sports parts we are using in this video, links for everything will be in the description below. Go check that out. But uh, I think it's finally time to start assembling the frame.
Alright, so I went ahead and did all the wiring. I didn't bother recording it just because it's kind of super boring, it takes forever, and it's not really that interesting to watch. Um, I also hooked up all the coolant lines, the brakes, and finalized a lot of stuff. Um, now, you did see me at first struggle with this. This is the original wiring harness for this engine, and for some reason I thought it would be a good idea to take all the electrical tape off of this and I thought I was going to be able to neaten it all up into a nice neater bundle of wiring but basically I ruined this because three hours of trying to get this neatened up into a ball basically just uh, yeah way too frustrating I didn't have the patience for it and I tore it out really glad I had a backup wiring harness for this engine and I just basically grabbed that and used it for this. Um, now it does turn over, it does have a spark, but I haven't tested if it runs yet, so I'm hoping everything's hooked up properly. Uh, we're about to find out. I also went ahead and hooked up all the switches for the headlights, light bar, and the tail lights. Those are all hooked up, I'll show you that in a second. So um, I think let's finally now start working on reinstalling the body.
Alright, so we finally finished the Ninja Project. Now, painting this has taken me two weeks just to paint this thing, so this video has been taking really long to make, but at least it's finally done and it looks decently alright. Now, I was a little concerned at first with the color choice um, that we chose, that I chose for this, uh, the green. It's not a perfect match to the actual Grave Digger, but I think it's close enough. There's, it's the closest I could find with spray paint uh, to the actual color. It's not an ideal match, but who cares? It works, and it looks pretty cool. So um, I think these tires look amazing on this thing. They make this uh, look a lot better. Um, we're still going to keep the off-road tires. Again, those are... These are on-road tires, off-road tires. We're still keeping those tires um, for whenever we take this off-road. We just put those things back on and just have a, two sets of different size tires, of different uh, modes tires. So now we have working headlights, light bar. I don't want to blind you guys. And we have working tail lights, as I showed you. Now the LED bulbs that um, that we use for this. Are, were kindly donated to me by Moto Mule, Mike from Moto Mule. In case you guys don't know, um, he is also building a grave digger project. He took the exact same power wheels that I bought, and he also built his own ver uh, his own version of a uh, monster wheels, power wheels build type thing. His is more lean towards uh, four wheel drive, off road capability. Massive tires. If you guys haven't checked out his videos, go check them out. I'll put a link in the description below to his videos where he built his version of this. But um, thank you, Mike from Motomeal, for sending me the LED bulbs for this project. They look, they make this thing look amazing. So, uh, so I guess that's it for working on this project. As far as you know, building it, we're kind of done. Unless, unless anything breaks, uh, it's doesn't really need any more work. It's now just have fun with this thing, take it off road and see what it can do. Now, uh, now, yes, I did rebuild. I don't know if I, I don't know if I really showed it, but, um, I did rebuild and redesign a lot of the steering components, uh, mainly because they were a weak point and they just looked so ugly. I wanted to redesign them to look a lot better. Um, you know, the ones before were kind of a proof of concept. I don't know if I mentioned it in any of the other videos, but with the original steering setup, this thing was super hard to turn the wheels. But now it is so it is so much easier to turn the wheels now because I uh, I changed some of the ratios and made it to where you have to turn the wheel a little bit more to turn the tires, which means it's you know to turn, do full turn, it's more like that instead of like that, So, but it is, makes it a lot easier to turn the wheels, so, I think that's, uh, I think that's it for this project, we, we're done with it, all that, all that's left is just have fun with it, so, we're gonna be taking this thing off-road eventually, I'm not sure when, I am planning on taking this to Texas at the Pate Swap Meet, um, I need to I need to verify the date of the swap meet because I think it's a little bit different than last year. Uh, last year it was April twenty fourth, twenty fifth, and twenty sixth. This year I believe we're going on April thirtieth through uh, April thirtieth through May second is uh, is when we're going to, is when I'm going to be at the Texas Paint Swap Meet. Um, and I'm planning on bringing this to show it off. I am not selling it. I'm just bringing it there to show it off. So uh, if you want to come see this thing in person, definitely go over there and check it out. So, um, but for now, I think it's time to end this video here. Now I have to thank Go Power Sports for sending us all the parts we've used for this project. The new tires, the old tires, the seat, uh, the steering components, the axle, the bearings. Links for everything will be in the description below. Go check that out. I gotta end this video here. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see ya in the next video.